Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a sales update. So in today's video, obviously we're going to do about 10 or 11 sales in sort of the 10 minute mark. I say why I say 10 or 11 is because I've actually got two orders from the same customer that I've kind of had to include, but I also wanted to include the other nine. So obviously that takes it up to a kind of 11, but you could kind of class the two orders in one so that's kind of 10 so 10 or 11 anyway it doesn't really matter so we'll get on with it now and uh, we'll go for a few of the sales i've had so first off was uh, this was one of the orders that the uh, same customer bought two items from uh, this is a vintage studio pottery sort of uh, textured uh, jug water jug something like that i assume um it's too big to be like a milk jug or anything like that i suppose also, you could say that these aren't used. These are just decorative pieces. Um, but I'm sure there's some people who will use these for their for their use case. Um, but a lot of people will, you know, they're just decorative items. Just use them for a decorative purpose. I'm kind of taken with this one. Kind of not. Um, it's okay. I mean, I suppose a lot of people wouldn't wouldn't like this. Um, I kind of like the rough textured style. You know, the inscribed design. Um, but at the same time. I, I kind of like it, but I don't like it. It's kind of, it's in the middle for me. But um, yeah, anyway, fairly nice item. I'm sure some people would really, really like it. Others would probably really, really hate it. Um, but as I say, I'm kind of in between. $13.99 plus postage for this anyway. So yeah, quite happy with that sort of price for that item. Um, next was something that I really do like. This is a uh, sort of art deco kind of period. Um, Empire wear, um, studio pottery, kind of just jug i suppose you could call it I, I don't quite think it's like a jug you know oh i i, I called it a, va a vase or a pot yeah that's kind of more what i would uh think it is um more than a jug but yeah it's quite large it's uh, i think it's about 24 centimeters as you can see there on the uh, measurement um and yeah i really like it i like the fact that, that i like the sort of the, the green that it bleeds into the yellowy kind of color I really do like it. I love the little handle as well. I love the styling on it. It's just, it, it's a nice piece in my opinion. I do feel that these should be worth more than they are, but anyway, still 20 quid for a piece like that. I'm happy with, but I do feel like it should be worth a little bit more, but you know, you can only get what someone's prepared to pay for items. So yeah, 20 quid plus postage. I'm quite happy with that. And it was, it was a nice piece. I liked having it. Um, next was this uh, vintage draw, drawing instrument set. It was actually missing, you know, can you see that sort of little two-pronged uh, drawing instrument there? It was actually missing one of them, as you can see by the other side there. There's nothing uh, over the other side. Um, but I still managed to get £23.74 for this, plus postage. I did have this quite a while, um, and I did pay up for this in the charity shop. I paid £5.99 for this. Um, would I pay that again? Would I pick something like this up again? Um, I would do, however, it would have to be a more desirable one that would maybe sell a little bit quicker or that I felt would sell, uh, would sell a little bit quicker. So, yeah, um, it, it was a little bit slow, this, but still, I'm quite happy with the sale overall. Uh, next are these vintage uh, pair of ceramic mermaids. Um, yeah, basically just whacked these on at any old price. I really didn't know. Um, I didn't know whether they would be worth listing, to be honest, at the start. But then I thought, you know what, I'll just list them. And I thought, right, I'll throw them on for my sort of bread and butter standard range, 10 quid plus post. I got an offer for 7 quid after a couple of weeks or so, or maybe a week. And I thought, you know what, I'll just take that because they owe me hardly anything in a job lot anyway. So, yeah, quite happy with that. I don't know whether I said actually on those uh, two pieces, whether I said how much I paid. They were basically in job lots, these two pieces. So, if I worked it out, it'd be a couple of quid at most, really. So, quite happy with those sales anyway. But yeah, I don't know whether I actually said the price of those. But yeah, that was okay anyway. These uh, mermaids, you know, fairly okay standard st stand standard sale, if I can even speak there. Um, Disney Lilo, uh, Lilo and Stitch uh, plush. It was actually stamped, this one, uh, you know, with the little Disney authentic stamp or whatever they call it. $12.99 plus postage. I didn't accept any best offers on this one. Um, but yeah, quite happy. I think I paid two forty nine, or maximum was two ninety nine in a charity shop. So you know, two forty nine, two ninety nine into thirteen quid plus post. I'm happy with that. So 
yeah, pretty happy with that. Nice little sale, really. Quite easy to pack as well. Uh, these were the first items I listed. Uh, oh, no, second items I listed from that military job. Like, I've still not listed hardly any of that. Um, and I accepted an offer of £30 on these. These are just like uh, jerry cans. Uh, crap stuff, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, yeah, quite happy with that. Quite desirable items. I think they're going off to like a... A studio or something. I swear when I got the payment through PayPal, it said something studios. So don't know whether they're going in a movie or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember precisely, but I'm sure it said something that piqued my interest anyway on the, on the PayPal payment. So yeah, quite happy with that. And that just goes towards paying for the job lot. Um, obviously, these kind of milita military items are quite desirable, whether they're going to be used for props or in people's collections and stuff like that. So it's always worth keeping your eyes peeled out for them. But you're probably going to not, you might not be able to get as much of a margin out of them as other items because obviously a lot more resellers are going for them and actually want them. So yeah, anyway, that was a nice sale. Uh, large musical uh, pewter tankard. Um, I actually accepted an offer of a tenner on this, but that was fine, you know, £10 plus postage, um, I was quite happy with that. Um, this came in one of the job lots I showed in my random box haul a while back, and um, yeah, quite happy with that really, as it cost me next to nothing, you know, once I've worked it out um, within all the items of the job lot, so yeah. I'm happy with that nice sale. Obviously, it was a musical one, so I did want a little bit more for this one, but still, I'm happy with that kind of £10 plus postage range. Um, but yeah, pretty cool, but it was musical as well. Um, next was something I got on Sunday at the car boot. This is a vintage short run sun, and I think I really should have put Art Deco in there because I think this was sort of that Art Deco period, and it's got an iridescence to this uh, bowl. And also I put scallop in there um, because it's got this sort of it's got these lines at the back of the bowl, as you can see here, um, that kind of to me look like that sort of scallop or a uh, scallop or whatever. I don't know, but I'm sure that that sort of that kind of design um, and also it's got a floral design on it so quite happy to get 15 quid plus post on that I always get a little bit um, itchy feet whether to go kind of higher on these items or whether to stick a little bit lower because I've, I've had mixed experience and mixed results with these kind of items where sometimes you'll price a little bit you'll price what you think is kind of right and then the items just won't sell. So I always try and think to myself, well, I've got a price to sell. You know, I've not got a price. I've not got a price with my heart and think like, oh, well, I think I could get 25 or 30 quid for this. I've got a price in line with the market. And sometimes that can be hard to do when there isn't any sold listings on eBay. So, yeah, maybe I could have got £20 for this or got a little bit more. But I was quite happy to flip it within a week or so. And um, obviously from a pound or two that I paid at the car boot in that little job lot of pottery items that I got for four or five pound, I think it was. Um, I'm more than happy with that sale. And it was a lovely item, actually. I really did like it. And as you can see, there is some iridescence there uh, on the photo that you can actually see. Um, next was something else I bought from the car boot on Sunday. Uh, so I'm well in profit on all the items, all the spend that I had on Sunday. Um, I'm well in profit on. And uh, this was the Brother ink cartridge that I showed. Um, I actually priced it slightly lower, um, and I got 55 quid within a couple of days. So I was quite happy with that. Obviously, I could have priced at 60 or 65, and I was well aware of that when I was listing it. But I thought, you know what, I'll price at 55 and see how, how quick this can go. And, you know, considering I only paid three quid, I'm more than happy. So, yeah, 55 quid for that sale. Really happy with that. And, uh, obviously, it pays for all the stuff at the last car boot. Uh, next was something I got when I was uh, out hunting with the Celtic Traders. Um, these were Dunlop Aero Ti high performance squash rackets, and there's two of them there. I paid 150 each, and I said to Caroline, uh, well, she said to me, oh, is there money in them? And I, I said, I really haven't a clue, but for 150 each, I'm not going to I'm not gonna go far wrong. So I thought, yeah, I'll pick them up for 150 each, £3 all in. I accepted an offer of £20 plus postage after them being on for maybe a week or two. And I was quite happy with that. So, yeah, I mean, some of these uh, squash rackets, tennis rackets, things like that do go. Um, I, have, I think I have, like 
dipped my toe into these kind of items before. Um, but yeah, it, I just thought there's got to be something in them. So, because I know that rackets are quite expensive, brand new as well. So, yeah, quite happy to get 20 quid plus postage from a three pound spend in a charity shop. Uh, next is this uh, War of the Worlds vinyl LP. Um, yeah, not much to say about this really. I got it in a job lot. Again, probably cost me next to nothing. Uh, got I actually accepted an offer, I think, of 11 quid for this, um, plus the 2 99 shipping, which I was more than happy with. Uh, quite a cool record, obviously it's a, it's a double record there, um, and worth looking out for, you know. If you're in the charity shop, maybe pay a quid or something, two quid for this, and you, you should be able to flip it pretty quickly for that £10 plus postage, maybe a little bit more, uh, that sort of range. So, yeah, quite happy with that. Uh, nice little sale, but not much to say about it, really. I have bought quite a few records. I don't seem to be very, um, I don't really seem to enjoy selling them as much as I thought I would. Um, if I'm, you know, in all honesty, I thought I would um, enjoy selling records quite a lot. But yeah, I just don't, I, I don't know what it is. I just don't particularly enjoy sell, selling them that much. And if you don't have interest for selling something, you don't, give that same appeal so uh, you don't put that same effort in so I don't know I tr might try and avoid records in the future a little bit obviously if if there's a record for a pound and I've just researched it and it's worth 50 quid I'm not gonna pass it up but at the same time you know I'll try and avoid maybe the larger job lots of them at auctions and stuff because I just don't seem to be getting as much joy out of uh, listing and selling them as I thought I might do but anyway that's all the sales today guys Thank you for joining me. If you did enjoy the video, then please do give it a like down below. If you enjoyed any of my sales or you want to comment on any of my sales, please do so uh, in the comments down below as well. And I will see you in the next video. So I'll see you very soon, guys. Bye for now.